So here, I, uh, I think you, you, you saw this uh, data yes, yes, on yes. YouTube, but it was uh, not uh, visible. So that's why yes. I want to show, uh, show you today. And I want to show you how to uh, understand XML data because yeah. we can get data from different uh, websites in the form of XML uh, uh, file or JSON or whatever we want. But that yes. is not uh, in the form of uh, structured way, but we need to transform and parse uh, that data for uh, yeah. data analysis. Because yeah. uh, most of data uh, scientists spend uh, their time, 80% of their time on uh, uh, transforming data, uh, gathering data, transforming data, cleansing data. And the yeah. other 20% of uh, their time is just the, uh, building pipeline for, uh, uh, for machine learning, uh, learn, uh, uh, developing a model for that uh, data train the data. Yeah. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> let's get started. Here, uh, I have uh, a data uh, in the form of XML. It, it, it is a little bit uh, complex. Uh, uh, first, we, we should understand the elements in XML. Elements are uh, uh, like, tag. You, if, if you now uh, tag in a, a HTML, so that's yeah. similar to uh, HTML, but it is uh, different because XML is to store a large amount of data on uh, mm -hmm. uh, websites, right? So yeah. uh, this uh, data uh, contains uh, a root element. The root element is sentence. So the sentence yeah. uh, is a root uh, element. In the root element, there are uh, different uh, elements, uh, sub elements and the other uh, is in the root element, there is a sub element sentence, right? The sentence has attributes. So our target is how to get the attributes, the values of the attributes, right? Because our data yes. is in, uh, stored in the form of attributes, right? So here, our data uh, has ID. We can see here, uh, the sentence root uh, sub element has an attribute ID. So this idea yeah. identifies the text yeah. and other uh, uh, data, right? So this uh, sentence is enclosed here. So we need to extract this information from these uh, elements, right? Yeah. Here in the sentence uh, element, there is also another uh, ele uh, element that is a text that contains a, a text data. So we need to extract this text under the ID of uh, this, right? Yes. And there is also uh, another uh, element inside this sentence that is aspect terms. This aspect term also has a sub element that contains the attributes, uh, more than two attributes, term, polarity, and uh, other two uh, attributes. So we need to extract those, uh, the values of those uh, attributes. And there is also another uh, sub element that is aspect categories that uh, categorizes the uh, these textes, textes, either a service or a, a food or whatever it, it will uh, categorize. So this, uh, this data is enclosed by sentence elements. Yeah. And all those data uh, is enclosed by uh, sentences, root element. Yeah. So uh, to get this data and transform it into the right format in the tabular form, because our machine learning uh, uh, needs to uh, needs a tabular form of data. Yeah. Uh, to do this, there is a library that is uh, uh, the one is I, I think you are familiar with uh, pandas. Pandas. Yeah. As uh, PD. And the other is uh, import uh, XML library. XML, XML yeah. library that is E3 uh, elementary E3. and yeah. caps look uh, elementary. We can uh, yeah. uh, store as a variable ET. Then now uh, there is a method. This uh, XML uh, library has a method parse. We call that. Uh, 
uh, method and uh, find the file name dot XML file name, right? Then here we parse parsing the XML data. Uh, e three then uh, eighty dot parse. This is the method to parse our uh, XML data. Yeah. Tool dot XML. Now the data is parsed, but uh, when 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 you run this uh, uh, parsed data, it it, it returns a object. It doesn't return uh, any uh, data as we want, like we want. But this is the object. We need to parse this object and uh, return the data what we want. Now. Uh, for example, there is a root element. The root element is sentence, right? Uh, to get this root element, e root e3 dot get root method to get the root element, right? Yeah. Uh, when you run this, uh, this uh, it also returns the element objects. So still, we need to. Our target is to get the attributes of the root element. Here in the root element, there is no attributes, right? Yeah. When you call the attributes of this root element, it returns MPT uh, uh, value. So there is a property to uh, 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 get the attributes of XML uh, root element. Now, uh, a root dot attribute this is the, uh, the property to get the attributes of the elements in xml yeah so it returns mbt because it has no any attributes here in the root element uh, if you add uh, any uh, attributes here attribute. here it returns the attribute right yes first let's 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 uh, parse again here the attribute name is a, and the value is what? Okay. One, one. Because I have added the attribute here in the root element. Yeah. But uh, our target is not uh, to, uh, to uh, not to get uh, the attributes of the root element, but the attributes of the sub element in the root element, right? Yes. yes. Uh, so the, the, the root element is not so useful. Yeah. No, no, no. It is useful. It is useful. Okay. But we don't have uh, uh, data or attributes in the root element. Yeah. Uh, then, for example, uh, to get, let's uh, do a for loop. Because here we have uh, more than uh, one uh, sub elements, uh, sentence elements in this. So we, we should iteratively get all the attributes of in the sentence element, right? Yeah. Here, uh, we, uh, we use for loop for uh, root element in uh, a root dot. There is a method that uh, find all the uh, yeah. attributes from uh, the element, we call the element name, sentence, yeah. right? This is the sentence. This sentence is found in the root element. That's why we uh, call using a root element here, a root, because we get the root element and assign it to the variable uh, a root, right? Yeah. Then we get or find all the attributes, uh, the elements of uh, the root element, a root, dot find all the method and we call the element name. Yes. Then we can print uh, it root element dot attribute because our target attribute. is to find the attributes of the uh, this elements. Iteratively, uh, uh, just it is a, a for loop. For every uh, sentence, just get all the attributes of uh, every sentence, right? Yes. Because we have in the sentence uh, element, there, uh, there is ID attribute. So there are uh, lots of ID attributes. So we, we should get all the 
attributes of the uh, sentence element. Sentence. Yeah. Well, when you run this, uh, you can see here, ID, all the IDs are extracted and store, uh, just get us uh, a, a dictionary, a dictionary. ID, all uh, ID are extracted from uh, this root element. Yeah, all, all, uh, the, all the whole, is it all the whole sentence elements? All the whole sentence elements only? Yeah, yeah, sentence element. The ID is all that, that, sentence element, you see? Oh, okay, and, yes, yes, yeah, I see. Yeah, yeah. Because this ID re, uh, identifies the texts of uh, this uh, sentence, uh, the sub uh, elements, right? Elements, sentence all yeah. identifies each sentence has IDs, right? Yes. Uh, so because this sentence is uh, uh, enclosed in, uh, by sentence root, uh, I mean, uh, elements. elements. Now yeah. we need to get the text, text. because text, each uh, text from uh, sentence elements, uh, there is a way to uh, get uh, sentence, uh, I mean, uh, text uh, from, uh, let's, let's comment here and uh, let's, Print a root element. Uh, Text. Find, not find all, but find. Yeah. There is a okay. text inside this text uh, yeah. element because text element is uh, here. Uh, this yeah. text element uh, encloses the text. Here, this is not an uh, attribute. We want the yeah. text. Yeah. So, uh, it is uh, different from uh, getting attributes. Uh, just we call dot text. This is the property. Uh, when you run this, all the text inside the sentence uh, element is extracted and displayed like uh, look like this, right? Yeah. Uh, It is a large amount of data here. Uh, now, here there is a sub element aspect terms. Inside this sub aspect term, this also under the sentence uh, elements, right? Yeah, yeah. So this ID uh, represents the text. So when, when you uh, transform into a tabular format, this ID uh, represents the text the attributes of the aspect terms and yeah. aspect categories, right? Yes, yes. Now, uh, let's, uh, this is found inside this uh, sentence uh, element. We, we need to uh, create another for loop for a uh, term in a, yeah. a root element because this is found for every yeah. uh, sentence it is uh, there, there. There are uh, different uh, aspect terms. Aspect right? terms. Yeah. Here, uh, find all aspect. Uh, let's copy this aspect terms. This aspect uh, terms has no attributes, but there is a sub element that uh, which has. Uh, attributes, right? So we need yeah. we need to call this, and uh, we use a forward slash here, right? Yes. And then we can print print uh, term dot attribute here because we we want to get the attributes of these attributes. aspect terms, right? Like yeah. uh, term stuff, polarity negative. And from to now, uh, when when you print this, all these are extracted. Look like this, right? All the whole aspect terms in all the inside the sentence so sub, sub sub documents of sub sentence, right? All of yeah, them. yeah, sure. Now uh, there is also another uh, attribute inside the sentence that is uh, aspect categories. Yes. This also represent uh, another uh, attributes uh, like service category, polarity, negative or positive, 
Uh, yeah. Let's uh, create another for loop. Hard in a root element dot find all. Let's copy category uh, aspect categories. Inside this, because this this uh, aspect category has no attribute, but there is a sub uh, element inside this that is aspect category. So our target is to uh, get or attributes uh, of aspect category, right? Yeah, yeah. Then we print the attributes of this uh, aspect categories and we, we, we uh, okay. huh. expected or identification problem, I think. For cut in uh, this expected indented block indentation problem. Indentation problem. Let's. For every cut in uh, roots element dot find all aspect categories. Yeah, Python. Is, uh, we should consider the indentation. Python is uh, automatically indented. Okay. Uh, okay. For loop. Here we need to pass something because this for loop uh, is uh, empty. That's why it is uh, uh, because we should print something inside uh, a loop or function oh, okay. or something. So when yeah. you leave empty, it, it generates an error. So we should uh, pass because I have commented this part and that's why it generates uh, an error. So there yeah. should be uh, something inside the for loop, right? Yeah. That's why. Now it's all the category service food something. There are all the categories are extracted from uh, the aspect categories. Now, this is the way how we extract uh, XML uh, data attributes and uh, uh, elements. Now let's organize uh, our code and create a function and let's yeah. uh, generate a the organized yeah, data. That can, can pull out all these, uh, the whole attributes and the whole uh, text. Yeah, that because okay. it, it, that, this way of extracting it doesn't give any uh, meaningful inform, uh, data. So our target is to create a tabular form and easily identify which uh, data is categorized in which uh, 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 category or uh, uh, which uh, ID identifies which uh, text, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. Now let's uh, create uh, a function. I think you are familiar with uh, uh, Python creating functions, yeah, yeah. something. Yeah. 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 Parse XML, just uh, the roots. Yeah. Now, first, we can just uh, copy here, actually. Uh, first, we yeah. create attributes, that is the root attributes, root dot. Uh, Attributes yeah. here, as we uh, as we can see here, it it ret uh, returns empty, right? Because yeah. the root element has no attributes. Okay. Now uh, let's copy this. There, there.
And here, let's create a variable and copy the root MBT uh, attributes here in the data that you just creating uh, MBT dictionary, variable. right? Because the, uh, our target is to transform this XML data into dictionary, then uh, pandas uh, can read uh, and transform a dictionary into tabular format. Now let's copy attribute dot copy. It's copied the MBT uh, dictionary and it's just, which means just creating MBT uh, uh, dictionary, right? Yeah. Now, XML to data updates the attributes of the sentence, all the sentence, right? Yeah. Here, root element dot attributes. The, all yeah. the attributes of the sentence will be uh, updated into this dictionary. Yeah. And we have a text data, so we need to uh, create because it has no any attributes that in the text attributes, right? And I mean yeah. element. So we need to create a key in the dictionary, right? XML uh, data uh, text to store our uh, text data. This one, because this text data has no attributes. It is uh, just okay. uh, we, we need to extract text only. Yeah then root element dot pine text in the text now we have updated our dictionary of the ids each ids of the sentence uh, element and the text in the text key now we need to uh, copy this inside this for loop and update dictionary XML data dot update term dot attributes update all the attributes and we can also copy this part and XML data dot update update cut dot attribute, right? Yeah. Now this is our code. Now we need to uh, return something, right? Yeah. Here uh, we uh, we need to return XML data. This is uh, the dictionary all the data uh, will be stored in the dictionary and return this dictionary. If you return, uh, if you use return, because this data is a, a big data, so yeah. uh, we need to uh, yield a, an object, right? This is a method to return or generate objects, yield XML data. The for loop, yeah, the for, second for loop is not yes. well in the no, not this one, the other, the upper one. Okay, yeah, okay, it's the same thing. Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, uh, yeah, because I copied this one. Yeah, yeah. Now uh, let's call the function and pass the parsed root element. Root. Yeah element in this data, our data, parse XML function, and we pass a root, this one, because this yeah. uh, get the root element, sentences, yeah. and all the sub elements will be extracted under this uh, root element. Now, a root, and we run this. Uh, okay. When when you run this, uh, it generates a generator object, not uh, a data. Yeah. So uh, to do this, uh, just uh, we use list 
we pass our uh, generator in the list and it will uh, generate all the data that look like this in the list, oh. right? Yeah. Look, ID, uh, this is a dictionary. ID, text, term, polarity, a category, the second data like yeah. this, right? This is yeah. a dictionary. Now uh, we need, uh, need to create a data frame for this uh, dictionary. Yeah. Uh, PD dot data frame, and we pass our data. First, uh, let's uh, data convert to list, right? Yeah. Then data frame. This is what uh, our extracted data. You see, in this ID, for example, three, one, two, one, there is a text, but the staff was so horrible to us. The term mm -hmm. is the staff. Polarity is negative because this is horrible. The word horrible. This is a negative mm -hmm. uh, word. And there is uh, something here. This is categorized as service, like yeah. this. This is tabular form. Here, we can see here, three, one, two, one. The text is this one. The yeah. terms, polarity, service, what? like this, right? Yeah. What if you have, a, what if you have a, another sub term under a aspect category, for instance, how will you place it in the, the function? I mean, uh, can you scroll up? What? Can you scroll up? No, not here. I mean, okay, yeah. I mean, okay, scroll up. I mean, yeah. I want to see the up, the upper part. This the, one. The sent no, the sentence you first showed me. Yeah. The I mean, uh, here. Or uh, this okay, one. Let's, four. No, what or, what uh, I mean is, uh, I, I mean the I mean the tool dot ipython. That is the Jupyter notebook. Okay, this one. Yeah, yeah. Scroll up. Yeah, let me see. Okay. So what I mean now is assuming what if you have a, a sub uh, element also on the uh, aspect then how here. will you put it in here now? If we have yeah. a sub element another like sub, this. Uh, yeah, another aspect on the aspect then how will you do it? So we, we can create another uh, uh, for loop if, if, if this, uh, for example, I think you, 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 you if we we have sub element inside this, right? You think? Yeah. So we, yeah, we can create I mean, a for loop, yes. right? For example, yeah. Uh, something uh, here, and yeah. uh, something uh, zero. Yeah. Like this, right? Yeah. So yeah. We, we need to create a for loop inside this uh, uh, element, right? Yeah. Because this is a sub element. So this is under the aspect term. Yeah. Not in, uh, not in the outside of this aspect term. So we, uh, we, we create a loop inside this, like uh, for uh, something here, the uh, yeah. term dots, because this uh, element so is found in the aspect term. So every yeah. aspect term, uh, every term we find all uh, something uh, T, right? Yeah. Then we uh, get the attributes X something uh, attribute like this. Yeah. This is the way how we get uh, all the sub elements attributes. Yeah. So if it's only text, we we'll use a find for it. Yeah, find it's but only, text yeah. because of this, this text has no attributes. So we, we yeah. want to extract a text uh, specifically. So there is a, yeah. a property that is a text. To get yeah. attributes, there is a attrib uh, property, right? These yeah. are yeah. the methods properties, properties and methods, which means the variables, right? Attrib properties. Yeah. When we talk yeah. about a function and uh, or methods. Yeah. 
So this is uh, how we extract data, right, from XML. So we may have uh, uh, more complex uh, XML data. So if you if you uh, understand the elements, the sub elements, the attributes, and uh, blah blah, so you it yeah. is easy to extract uh, any uh, yeah. complex uh, XML data, right? Yeah, but if under this function like the way place you wrote attrib equals to root dot attrib after the function declaration. The second line, yes. This I mean, fine, yeah, yeah. yeah. What's the, yeah, why, why is the reason why you, you do them and do copy and all that? I don't really understand that part. This is, after doing it, you, you now do copy again. No, no, no. yeah, just, uh, just uh, this is the root element, right? Yeah, the yeah. attributes of the root element. The root element has no attributes, right? It, it returns MET uh, dictionary, right? Yeah. So actually, uh, uh, we can uh, simply uh, do like this, MET. Yeah. But in case, the root element may have uh, attributes. Attribute, yeah. Right? So we need to copy yeah. that attribute in the root element. That's why we, I need to copy that. OK. Quite I think now because you understand. I think yeah, you, I, you I understood. You get something, right? Yeah, I understood it. Understood it. The the thing is, you know, me, I I have a, a there's how my memory is. I need to rewatch something again, again, again before it sticks to my brain. <laughs> I'm not so I'm not so smart like you guys. You know, uh -huh. <laughs> I don't know how I don't know how old you are. <laughs>